Howdy do, buckaroos. How the heck are you? This is Todd Beer Whisperer. Oh, I get a chance to do a few videos outside today. I like to do them outside. I really do. Something special for me about just enjoying a beer outside. I just, I just like it. Anyways, so I've got one I haven't had before. It's Tin Roof Rusted <laughs> Rye IPA. They get the name from the B-52 song Love Shack with the line Tin Roof Rusted. I looked at the stats just before I came out, but then my mind went blank. I believe it was 7-4-68 IBUs. Uh, who could remember? Anyways, I, I know the 7-4 is correct. I may be a little iffy on the 68, but, you know, um, when I do the description, I'll give you the correct if I happen to be wrong. They tell you to look for black pepper notes from the rye. They also tell you to look for various citrus aromas, uh, including orange, grapefruit, and lemon as such. So let's just get at it, shall we? I am a fan of the rye IPA. I really am. I'm a fan of the rye IPA. I really love the black IPA as well. Although I would rather, I would rather, you know, the black IPA be called an India dark or a hoppy black. But at this point, it's, it's semantics. I did have one of these yesterday, so I have an idea of what I'm going to be tasting. But I remember uh, really uh, enjoying it. Again, aromas are, are like like they tell you to look for. I, I, I'm also getting, uh, as well as some of the black pepper rye on the nose, you are also getting a, a, a nice amount of sweet malt along with those various citrus aromas they tell you to look for. Orange, grapefruit, lemon. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. I remember thinking, though, and, and, and I agree with myself. <laughs> I agree with myself. Now, I remember thinking at the time that it felt a little malt sweeter than most rye IPAs that I've had. So, And I'm going to stand by that. It is very malty. It feels very malty. It doesn't feel too malty to me. But I think some folks might, you know, feel that malt sweetness. To that note, though, the rye is very noticeable. It, you, this is clearly a rye IPA. There's a lot out there. There's a few out there anyway that I've had that claim to be rye IPAs where the rye is very subtle. In this particular beer, the rye is not subtle. It is there. It is apparent. It is the star of the show. You do get those black pepper notes. There's also some very citrus that gets on through there. I'm probably speaking today for some reason. And there's also some pine-like notes that kind of blend well with that black pepper. Using one of my favorite mugs here, my uh, my pheasant tankard. My wife found this a while back at a thrift store. It, it has a little meaning because for for uh, well, uh, I lost my dad in '98 due to chronic uh, uh, heart disease and emphysema. But uh, my dad and mom always collected pheasant stuff through, throughout their travels. And the pheasants, you know, were, were about this. My mom, Needlepoint, I think it's called Needlepoint. Who, you know. But anyway, she did a lot of she did some pillows with a pheasant design that looked just like this. So when my wife found this, it just kind of ran right and reminded me of my dad. Dad used to do a lot of pheasant hunting as a kid. In South Dakota where he grew up and he was always enamored by the bird oh it's very enjoyable I haven't had anything from tin roof brewing before I found it at a store in Bentonville Arkansas I can't get it here in Springfield Missouri where I currently am today uh, they are out of Baton Rouge Louisiana um, so I, I I like this beer enough to want to buy it again and the reason I bought this particular beer is, is I had two from Tin Roof but he said what they have of this is all they're going to be able to get I guess it's a seasonal it is listed on the Tin Roof website as a seasonal and he said he wasn't going to be able to get any more of it so I thought well I could always try the other one later I want to try this one and again like I uh, uh, said earlier I am a huge fan of the Rye IPA so there you go Yeah, as I the longer I let this sit, uh, the the bigger the aromas get, and that's not necessarily unusual in most beers, but especially those rye notes that that black pepper rye really shines through. I'm also getting more of those citrus notes, specifically the orange that they mentioned to look for. 
Uh, I, I had this much colder than it needed to be to start with. I had it in a cooler with some ice. But it's very freaking hot out here. I thought I'd start with a cold and let her warm up. So anyways, hey, uh, my scale is simple. I don't do ratings. I feel that's asinine. <laughs> <laughs> made no secret about that for me the scale is simple will i buy it again yes i will buy this again i'm not a ticker folks i'm not about trying one beer and never having it never having it again if i like something i'm going back this is one i will definitely go back for and not only that i like it enough where i'm going to seek out other tin roof products because i think this one is just that good i'm coming to the beer whisperer we'll talk to you later